Hello guys, it's Bob. Welcome back once again to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. Hope you're all having a good day. We just finished up 70s week and that was a lot of fun. If you get a chance, check out some of those videos because there were some good 70s rock bands that just seeing live cuts from them was really a lot of fun. I enjoyed every minute of that. And if you get a chance, to, like I said, to check out a couple, uh, please do. Uh, I think you'll enjoy them. They were really a lot of fun. But with that now in the rear view mirror, I think it's time we take another look at a symphonic metal video. It's been a little while. We are going to pay another visit to a band that what I've read has become kind of a rising force in the newer symphonic metal scene. The ba that band being Blackbriar and the song is Snow White and Rose Red. I've only heard one song from them. I did a reaction to it and I was blown away. It was so good. Uh, it left, left really a lasting impression on me and there was no doubt in my mind I was going to be doing another reaction fairly quickly. So here we are. If you're not familiar with the band, they're from the Netherlands. Yay. My mom's from there, and I still have a lot of family from there. So the Netherlands are very near and dear to me. So um, yay, Holland. <laughs> I guess you would describe this band uh, as ones that pull off a lot of heavy metal riffs along next to beautiful symphonic arrangements guess you could say that with a lot of the symphonic metal bands but this band to me is they're just so powerful and like i said just first time i heard them within a minute of hearing them i knew this was going to be a band i'd follow the lead singer's name is zora or zara or zora and she manages to pull off nice combinations of classical opera contemporary rock and um heavy metal vocals that just blend together to form a special sound and she's got really kind of a high voice as well which i just really like because not only is it high but it's really clear and it's really nice i just love her voice all in all based on the last video of theirs that i saw i'm gonna guess we're gonna be in for a real treat here so i'm looking forward to it so let me get my headphones on and we're gonna dive into it hold on okay guys we are gonna do this i'm really looking forward to this so like i said that last video i saw of blackfire was amazing and i can't help but think this is gonna be anything but that so all right let's let's not talk anymore let's just listen to this here we go There's Zora.
I gotta stop it. I'll back it up and work into this. But the song isn't giving me any breaks. It's not being nice to me. This guy's is so incredibly good. And it's very interesting. This song obviously references a fairy tale about Snow White and her sister, uh, Rose Red. The girl in white is Ali Perhonen. I think that's how you pronounce it. Who is the front, uh, the front person for the band Snow White Blood. It's just kind of interesting the tie-in based on the theme of this video. Um, I don't know. But anyways, Ali has a beautiful voice. Maybe even more um, operatic than Zora's. And Zora is just flat out captivating. From what I've heard from her, it's pretty easy to conclude that she has this tremendous range of uh, power and emotional, <coughs> excuse me, uh, emotional intensity that uh, makes watching her so interesting. Some of those notes she hit were really high and they were really clear. Like I said earlier, that's what I liked about her. She can hit these extreme ranges and still sound just pitch perfect. Really, really like this. Let's go ahead and see this uh, to the end. Here we go. That was so good. You know, I apologize. I was going to back it up a little bit and work into it, but I was so anxious to hear the song. I forgot to do that. Uh, wow. That was incredibly intense. Just amazing. Having Zora and Ollie singing together side by side was something. I never loved a story about Snow White any more than I do right now. They're both beautiful and incredibly talented singers. I don't really get the video. I, I I guess this is referencing a Brothers Grimm story, but I believe that story referenced a bear, a dwarf, and a prince or something along that lines. This seemed to have more of a gothic edge to it, which with Blackbriar doesn't surprise me. And other than the um, the rose red and the snow white part, like I said, it doesn't really go along with the story, but that's fine. They had they developed their own storyline. I don't know who those other characters were, Maybe you guys can explain that to me because sometimes some of these videos tie in with earlier videos. Maybe that's the case here. I don't know. But that's okay. All I know is I love this song and I got to get a Blackbriar album on my wall here. I got to work on that. If they release vinyl, I'm not sure. But uh, I'm going to work on that. So, all right, let me get my headphones off. I'm going to be back for my final thoughts. This was a good one, you guys. Hold on. Okay, final thoughts time. I love this band. <laughs> this is the second one. I got to say, I think I like this song more than the first one. And I love the first one. You know what I like about symphonic metal bands that have these female leads? The singers are obviously very classically trained, but they never let go of their love for metal. And they found a way to have both. The hot factor kicks up huge at that point. What a combination of wonderful, beautiful voices here. Oh. I need to research Snow White Blood a little bit in their music because I thought Ollie had just a wonderful voice. I've listened to a decent number 
of symphonic music over the last year. And this, I'm telling you, is way up on my list of my favorites. I love that it's haunting. The back and forth between Zora and Ali was awesome in this video. And the guitar and symphonic arrangements are breathtaking. Just, oh, the power behind those was crazy. And it just really engulfs you. And I always say it sucks you in, but this really does. <laughs> Guys, this is an amazing band and an amazing song that we just heard here. I'm officially all in with this band. Plus, they're Dutch, so you got to like that. <laughs> all right. Guys, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like and subscribe, that'd be even better. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. And don't forget, only life is priceless, so make every day count. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.